Alright, chillin'. Did some exercise earlier. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Get your exercise in. Also good to have a relaxing day when you can. Can't always get those. Oof. Alright. So we got... We did three runs. First one was get some. you get some relics, which was worthwhile. The next two was we got disattuned, which ended up being way better than I expected. And each of them made it through the full one life route for when you do multi-life. And so now we're going to see what the future has in store for us. Is it another disattuned? Or do we have a proper build that we're going to be using? You know, like... Cartographer plus Flameberry would be insane. And I found an adaptation for um, the eyeball room in the dasher room that does not require a spell. So we can actually deal with that room if we don't have Fireball. Which I appreciate. Alright. There we are. Get some good intros because my first one had garbage intro. That's what happens. And our average is now under 40 minutes, which is awesome. All right, let's see how we do, what what it gives us. Nope. That's our only playable one. Icarus wings it is. Looks like we're going to try out Icarus wings, see how that fares for us. Cuz the other two just were not playable. The CIP giving us extra gold will also be pretty nice. Though, unfortunately, that actually makes this... The Icarus Wings makes this character really hard to play against Lamac. Mm. Also, being unable to dash in the air yet means the Icarus Wings are not as versatile as we'd hope. Uh. Alright, that's the bottom already. And I think that gives me invincibility frames, so I'm not going to take the damage here. Yep, you can even see the fireball hit, um, disintegrate upon hitting my body. And I didn't take damage. Yeah. Icarus wings ain't fun. But I believe. Don't have air dash. So that was not a viable maneuver. Great. keep taking my damage because I don't know, like, I'm not used to not... I should be used to not having my air dash on the first life. That's something I, that I've been dealing with for quite a while, so... Surprised that I'm having such an issue with it. Uh, anyways, we got back to full health, so whatever damage we took, at least we're better now. It got better! Alright. Keep track of my health. I am at 222 currently. Could have used Bird's Max Spray for this room, but I didn't, so we're using this tactic, which I think is perfectly acceptable as a tactic. Come on. Gotta keep in mind, we have Icarus Wings. We have plenty of maneuvers to mess with this route. Make it faster. Alright. Keep it moving. Keep it cool. Knock a shawl. Oh, that was twinned. I didn't realize that was twinned. Alright. We are at reduced max health. I have no idea where our health is anymore. Uh. Well, let's see how we fare. Make sure my spot's safe, and we apply all the effects.
Yeah, it's attacks like that that makes the Icarus Wings not exactly the best spell. Yeah, because of the armor break, I'd say this spell is very much get it active whenever possible, but because of the, you know, I have to find holes in between its attacks, not always possible. Awesome. I didn't damage boost. Oh my gosh. And now I just made a mistake. I just made a bunch of mistakes. That was just unacceptable. I didn't... I just... My hand was not on the shield bash button, so I didn't even bother. And... You know, not bothering to block attacks is a great way to get hits. Icarus Sween spell? No, no. I met. I was just saying a lot of things at once. I messed it up. There we are. Okay. We took two points of damage. We're gonna assume we're at 100 health. We're gonna assume at, we're at precisely at 100 health. Could be a very incorrect um, assumption, but I think it's the assumption we'll take. So what's that angry ball explosion specifically? Poison burn and, um, it's poison burn and freeze. And because freeze is not, um, applicable to bosses, instead applies armor break. Every freeze effect applies armor break if it can't apply normally. Alright, we're going up and to the right because we need to find both Stiggy and Study entrance. Book. I just realized I haven't found book yet. That's not damage I want to take, but I just got two things of meat, so... Alright, there's Book. And now we just head right. As far right as we can, basically. Because we need Stiggy and Study. We need... Um... Far Shores. And we have everything else. Yeah. Getting used to Icarus Weens, because sometimes... I usually do not take this Heirloom even if it's offered and it's like the best choice i just decide to take no choices because um i'm just not used to this low jump you know so time to get used to it i guess which hey Oof. i don't think it's faster to teleport to the um starting point yep no it's not glad i took the route i did Alright. Just do that. Question mark, question mark. Was just hiding the numbers zero. Alright. Right, don't have... I keep trying to um, kick off people and dash again. Doesn't work yet. Not yet, at least. There we go. Now we can do it. Now we can do it. Alright. Icarus Weens is a go-go. Ooh, I have idea. I think this works. Ah, nope. Technically, I don't have to use this side, but kicking off of Fiends actually goes faster than these double jumps. Because there's such a low height jump. Alright. Uh. This is me played Thanatopia. Um. What was you playing Thanatopia for all one? I know what trait you're talking about. It's the one where you have to beat the game in 15 lives. But. Um. What is. How is what I'm doing um, relate to that? That's why I'm not understanding. That's my only misunderstanding. Alright. Oh, you have the description of the next one, but... I can't read that right now because of the, where my timer is. So I'll have to fix that just a bit. Alright. 
right? Unfortunately, to fix the timer, I have to wait till it's a loading screen. This does not count as a loading screen, which is one of the saddest things. All right. Now we do it. All right, come on. Come on. Move fast. Move fast. Come on. Uh. Oh. Yeah, you're Sir Leah. I can't dash a double jump. That's what you're saying. That's how it's that of Tophobia. Because, um. You. Not having the tools you always expect yourself to have. Makes sense. All right. Oof. One, two, three. Darn it. Just barely not possible. Ooh. That being said, we have Icarus Wings here, so this should be a much easier area with a double jump effect. Exhibit A! <laughs> there we are. I think we're at full health still. Yeah, I think we're still at full health, which is great. Well, we took a whole bunch of damage right there. Don't know how much, but it was a lot. I'm certain of it. Those guys don't hit lightly. There we are. Well, I'm assuming we're low on health, but I'm not sure how low on health we are. Oof. Deep breaths. And we're just gonna try to do this without getting hit. I prefer you to die first, but fortunately your brother's not far away. Whew. Yeah, quick Void Beast kill. At least we should have. Hmm. Alright. While that cutscene plays, we take care of a few things over here. There we are. Awesome. Minus 24. We assume we're low on health. We assume we're low on health. 85% of 222 gives us a max health. Pretty low. And then we took that hit, so. We'll check this real fast. Nope. Let's use that to keep going. Alright. Far to the right we go. Honestly, those big rooms are preferable because of our 
abilities. Yep, we can get all the... I just realized the loot relays are reducing our max health. That ain't the best. There's the other lily. But now we have 65% max health, which means it's in like 120 or something like that. So now our goal is actually to find the moth. I meant to attack the warg and it screwed me over with its attack direction, but that's okay because we're not dead. That being said, we are now closer to death than I prefer to be. Just gotta find them all. Faster return main menu. I guess we take double jump now? Uh, might as well. I know we're at low health. We're our max health isn't going much higher. Yeah, I think we get one shot by gone heads at this point. I mean, because of the Hyperion Reigns, that's three shots, but... Nonetheless, that's not a spot to be in. That's not a spot you'd like to be in. It means gone heads is gonna be is gonna have to wait. There we are. Let's just keep going. That's not okay. Alright, there has to be a bunch of shortcuts I could take with Icarus Wings. But it doesn't matter because I need to grab that meat. Hey Vibes, how's it going man? Glad to have you here. So today we basically did a theme where we were killing ourselves instantly to see what would happen like if the characters we get out, out, of, the, out of that check were worthwhile. And it seems to be going good. It's just sometimes I have to adapt to new themes, but the adaptations are just, you know, arguably making me better. So not even a penalty. Like, this one, we have to adapt to having Icarus Wings for the entire run. I'm doing good. Um, my dog's not doing so good right now, though, but we're gonna... We're just hoping for the best, hoping she finds her way back. She's been just... She's old, and the age is finally really getting to her. She's not able to hold it, her bladder in properly, stuff like that. Alright, found a ma. That's good. She's just old. Um, so, she's a dog. So, her name's Beta. She is... Um, she Her breed is generally one that is meant to live for um, 12 years, maybe. Like, that's, their, that's when they go by old age. And that dog, that freaking dog, is approaching their 17th birthday. So, that's what's happening. It's an old fart. She's an old, old fart. That's what's happening to her. She's nice. She's a beautiful dog. Loving dog. But... I mean... <laughs> I got hit at the end there. That's funny. Ooh. Ugh. 
We're not facing Gonheads with this character. Not yet. Um, exploration is more important than um, Gonheads because this character has such low max health. And the two Hyperion Reigns. Better to... I'd rather leverage those Reigns finding Enoch than beating Gonheads. Reset that room. Oof. Oh, no, Enoch is down up here. <sighs> Get your poison trail out of my face. All right, guess we have to change paths. Gotta make sure not to hit that painting. Gosh darn it. There was a path up there that seems to be where Enoch was. Oh well, we're too far away from it now. We'll come back when we find this and head over here. There we go. There we go. But yeah, just, it's one of those things that for my dog, it's just, when the time comes, the time comes at this point. All right. So now we just fight Enoch, we teleport over to Murmur. So, yeah, that's the plan. We find Enoch, we teleport over to Murmur, kill Murmur, then we fi find Gone Heads, and kill Gone Heads. With this character with three lives, each one one shottable. Ooh, just realized this room is shortcuttable because we have. The Icarus Wings. Icarus Wings coming in good. Doing all the heirlooms with it. Whew. Good old Icarus Wings. Ah, uh, well. Take a little damage here. There. It's okay. We are actually using these Icarus. We, we are just using this to face bosses at this point, so that's okay. We are at 50 health or something like that now. Grab these, get myself back to 120 or so. Alright, so we used one of those. But we're at full health now. Ugh. Because, yeah, full health is just so low is the issue. And because of CIP, we also don't know how high we are most of the time, but... So we're at 65% of 222. So that's about 130 health. That's a little over 130 health. And not much over that. Enoch's the only one we haven't found yet, and there is a path to the left over here, so... Interesting. Interesting. And we still haven't found Enoch. Hmm. So there's that path to the right. I guess we have a grounded Enoch. One near the floor plan instead of at the ceiling. Ah. That I could reach. Oh, well, 25 damage from that. Okay. Significant damage from that. There's the life. Yeah, I just... I ended up stuck in that bad situation. I didn't have... I couldn't think of a way out in time. 
That really sucks. We actually did not manage to um, get to Enoch in time with that life. Alright, we have a flay barrier. Let's go with that. Just try to build an intelligence monster powerhouse. See how that fares. But we are a little behind. If we're going intelligence powerhouse, we stick with the knight. And we still haven't... Yeah, we did not get the extra gold from... Um, Murmur and Gom Heads. We still have to take care of those two. There we are. So, let's find Enoch. Run over to Murmur. Kill Murmur. Run over to Gom Heads. Kill Gom Heads. And then... Ah, uh, but yeah. Losing that life was losing that life with that many other abilities was really sad. Ugh. Oh well. It really looks like the Icarus Wings did not help too much on time. The cost of like the cost to my mobility, I think, was severe enough to make it not um worth the um increased mobility at the end. You know what I mean? Oof. There's Murm There's Enoch. Alright, we're killing Murmur first, because Murmur feels safer, especially with a clumsy character. Oof. Clumsy character, we gotta do that. Alright, as always, bright flashing warning. Um... Murmur really hates eyeballs. That's all I really have to say. So she throws red eyeballs of her red eye syndrome at you. That's her attack. There we go. One boss down. Pick up the item. Return to main menu because of how long it takes. Then we go kill Gom Heads. And then we... Because we're a knight, we stick to the root, grab the Maw next. Alright. And we just keep going. We just keep going. chasers because of okay I do have to worry about the chasers a little but Very fast kills, thanks to Flame Barrier. But of course, that's to be expected with Flame Barrier. Alright, so we're killing Naman next. And then we go for Enoch. Alright, sounds good. Get it all taken care of. Ugh. Let's go, Naman.
are we already split? I'm not sure you could kill them all much faster. I think that was a really good Nama split. That just seemed like that just felt so fast to me. But it makes sense. Ah. Flame barrier amped up. Everything's going well. Alright, all we have left after this is Enoch. We'll see how that fares. Oof. Book. Yep. Thank you for reminding me. I haven't forgot recently, but I did forget that one time, and that was significant. Oof. Oh yeah, I don't even have to cast spells or anything. They just break. Whew. Will note, though, I don't have strength based damage, so this room is going to be a little. S this heirloom is going to be a bit slow, perhaps. Alright. A little low on health, but actually Enoch doesn't care. This is the same. This is two hits either way. That four damage, that 40 damage, or that 35 damage did not matter because Enoch does not care about the difference there. Well, finish it off. Let's finish strong. Chasers. The fire ball wheel takes care of them. That's not even a hard attack, it's just it, I have so much space to um, just attack while it's going on that I take advantage of it. Ooh, used all my mana, and I could only take one more hit, but as long as I don't take that hit, I'll be good.
There we are. That was a good run. There we are. We died a little prematurely, and we still managed because Flame Barrier and... Yeah. Despite the Icarus Wings not really panning out as hoped, everything still went great. Everything still went great. Look at that. Icarus leans don't stop the run. Ugh.